I'm going to do some random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong. If you're new to this game, look for a link below the video to a lesson playlist and to where you can get this player reference. In here, you have scoring and on the back, how to play the game. There, now you can see. It's a lot like Remy. You have 13 tiles. Your 14th tile makes a winning hand. The combination can be three in a sequence or three of a kind, chow and pung respectively. Since there are four of every tile, you could also get a Kong. These random pulls might give you an idea of what it's like to play the game. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do four random pulls, one for each wind of the round, starting with the East round. We're going to say that there's a three fawn minimum. When you play with a live group, a lot of times there's a fawn minimum. One, two, three fawn. I play with three fawn minimum. And also at Mahjong time, there are a lot of tables with a three fawn minimum. Three fawn equates to eight points. So when you play online at Mahjong time, you might want to practice playing three fawn. East round. I'm going to roll these dice just to randomize which seat we're in. This is not actually part of the game. It just will keep the variables fresh. So for the East round, I rolled an eight. One, two, three, four, eight. So we're going to be in the North seat. So East round, we're in the North seat. Those two variables can impact score. If you get a Pung or three of a kind of your seat, in this case, seat four or north, we can get Fawn for that. And then if you get a Pung of east, you could also get score for that. Let's see what we can do for these 13 tiles that we're gonna grab since we're non-dealer. Okay, with all these tiles here, we have one dot, three bams, five cracks, and single honors. Honors are wins and dragons. As single honors with numbered tiles in mixed suits, single honors are not going to be helpful. We need to pair those up. But we do have a really nice start to what's called a half flush. We have four discards for a half flush. I think I would try that. We've got to get to a three fawn hand, and a half flush is three fawn. The challenge will be here. We have a potential chow, a potential pung, and an isolated two, and then the single honor. So we would have to pair those up and draw in more cracks. Discard these first. That would get us to a three fawn minimum, half flush. Now, if we paired up and punged the north, that's our seat, that could give us some score. And so would this, if we paired up the east and pung that, because it's the east round. Also, any pung of dragons is worth a fawn. So if we could pair that up, that could bring score too. So these three are what are called valued honors. This one for us is a no value honor. But it'll still help us get to a half flush, so I'd keep it. Even if you get a pung of a non-value honor, you can still use that for a half flush because a half flush is one suit with any combination of winds and dragons. All right, we're going to go to the next one. South round. This time, let's say we're in seat four again. I'm going to get... 13 random tiles for non-dealer. Okay, this one, 
this is going to be a long road to haul here. We have mixed suits, three cracks, three dots, four bams, single honors, one pair. I was thinking we could maybe do all pung, but we have one pair. If you're going to plan an all pung hand, you should really start with four pair. We have one. The only redeeming quality here is we have two dragons. They're singles. We would have to pair up and pung if we're going to get any kind of score. So I think what I would probably do here, see we're in North seat and it's South round. This is a non-value honor West. We need a North or a South. So we're not going to get score there. I think to get us to three fawn, I would probably start by discarding the terminals. Terminals are ones and nines. Hold the simples, which are two through eight, and see if we can pair up the simples. Or draw in bams. Keep bams before cracks and dots. See if we can draw in bams, because then we could do a half flush. But we have six tiles to discard to get to half flush. I think I would just start by discarding the terminals and try to hold bams and pair up the honors. Go for a half flush, because with a half flush, you could maybe chow. We only have one potential chow though. There's too much space in here. We need a six, seven, and that's too big of a bridge there. There's no four tile chow. It's only three, like three, four, five, or five, six, seven. So five to eight won't work. So this is gonna be hard. You might think, well, why not play all chow? Here's a one, three, four, six, three, five potential chows. All chow, one fawn. We have a three fawn minimum, so that won't get us there. If we chowed and then paired up the dragons and pung them, a pung of dragons is worth a fawn. That would only be two fawn. Any chows and mixed suits with honors will have no value. So really, I think the, the best idea here is to discard these, try to get bams, pair up the honors, chow and pung wherever you can with bams and honors. This probably would be more of a defense hand because of all these discards, six discards. That's a rough start right there. Okay, we're going to go on to the next one. West round, I rolled a three. So we're gonna be in west seat for this random pull. West seat, west round. We have two flowers, a one and a two. Those are not gonna bring us any score. We need a three flower, because we're in west seat and it's west round. West seat, we need threes. We're gonna get replacements though. Okay, here we're going to have another long road to haul. We have two dots. Five cracks, five bams, and a single honor. Here we have an actual pung, but no other pair. I would start by discarding here. Let's see. All chow would be one fawn. I say that because we do have a potential chow pair, potential chow, chow, or 
potential chow, potential chow, potential chow, but all chow is one fawn. So right now we have only one fawn. So I think what I would probably do here, there's more chow potential with bams, but we do have a pair and a potential chow. I think I would start by discarding these dots and see which suit comes in and then just go with whichever suit comes in. If we draw cracks, play cracks. If we draw in bams, play bams because there's equal potential here. Maybe a slight potential for flexibility with BAMs because we can have some potential chow here and here and even here. Whereas here we have a potential pung and a potential chow and there's no other way to break that up. And then that would be isolated. So this is gonna be a long haul again. Let's do one more. North round. I rolled a seven. That would be west. Oh, wait. Yes, west. We're in west seat and it is north round. So we're non-dealer again. No flowers. No flowers is a fawn. I think I forgot to mention that earlier. So we have no flowers right now. That would be one fawn. Here we have a pair, 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 three pair. If we could get one more pair, I think all pung would be good. And it's okay to mix suits with pungs because all pung is three fawn. So I think I would try for all pung here. I would try to pair these up these dragons here. It's north round. We're in west seat, so that east is not going to help us with score. So that might be a good tile to discard also. But I think I would hold these to see if we could pair up a dragon and get a pung, because that would be an additional fawn if we could pair up and pung. So here, I would go for all pung. Pairs are a good thing. Three fawn for all pung. Three fawn, no flowers. But you don't want to bank on that no flower fawn because the minute you draw a flower, if it's not yours, you lose that no flower fawn and you don't recoup your seat flower. So you would have to draw the flower for your seat to come out even. We would need a three flower because we're in west seat. I hope that gave you a good idea of what it's like to play mahjong. It really is a lot like Remy. You get 13 tiles. Your 14th tile can make your winning hand. You need to get four sets in a pair. The sets can be three in a sequence, which is called a chow, three of a kind, that's called a pung. If you get a four of a kind, that's called a kong. So that's what your hand could be made up of, a chow, a pung, or a kong. You gotta get four sets in a pair. And then your score is dependent on whatever combination you have. So don't forget to download this player reference so that you can learn how to score your hand. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next set of random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.